My name is Liz Curran, and I would like to welcome you to the 2021 benefits presentation. So normally our team is standing before you and your teams in person, and that's definitely something we're going to miss uh, for this fall. Um, we love getting out and being able to talk with you and your teams in person, hear feedback um, and connect with you in that way. But of course, 2020 has been what it has been. So here we are uh, doing this presentation virtually. So I wanted to thank you on behalf of my family um, for the efforts you and your teams have made this year in getting your work done safely and efficiently. In addition, we appreciate each of you for being here. So we recognize that 2020 has been fill in the blank with whatever adjective you want. Um, it's been a frustrating year, both per personally and professionally for all of our employees with all that's going on in the world, um, not just COVID, but just everything. So we wanted to thank you in addition for all of your adherence to the COVID protocols. We know that that's been an added um, situation thrown at you for this year. So we appreciate you following those protocols in order to keep yourselves, your families and your teammates safe in your working environment. And we're looking forward to 2021 optimistically. Um, now I'm going to turn it over to Todd Gerke, Kern Group CFO, to talk to you a little bit more about the financials. Hello, everyone. This is Todd, uh, CFO of Kern Group. And again, I want to I want to reiterate what Liz said. Thank you to all our all of our employees at Holland Crossville Global Finishing Solutions and Kern Contracting. We truly appreciate everything you do every day. Uh, look, looking, you know, we're here today for the medical benefits. Our all, all of all of our benefits are going to be discussed today, but uh, everyone's always most interested about the medical plan and and the, what the costs are looking like for next year. So nationally, the 2020 expectations are about a six percent cost increase. 2021 is looking like anywhere from a four percent to ten percent national increase. So. This is normally they don't they do not have such a wide range in their forecast uh, for just a year out. Uh, the COVID-19 has really uh, thrown hiccups into the system. So we were our system was entirely shut down for about three months. You couldn't even go to your doctor. Um, but what what has happened is the experts are saying costs are going it's not like they went away they're going to be pushed out into the future so yes we were we were unable to go to the doctor but uh, a lot of those costs are just being pushed further out they're, it's not like they're eliminated so that's the reason for the big range in 2021 um, and there's also going to be some higher costs in some places for patients who really needed to go go to their doctor during covid that we're not able to do it, and that has created some additional higher cost activities down the road. So, so again, nationally expectations six percent for this year, a range of four percent to ten percent next year. At Current Group, we we talk a lot about our premium pricing philosophy, and the goal is to get our plans to break even. So, all of the premiums that are paid for by Current Group and its employees. The goal is that those premiums cover all the costs of the plan. Next year, you know, with with everything we know thus far, uh, we're we're expecting a three percent increase in costs. So our premiums will be in increasing by three percent. The company contributions will increase three percent. Employee premiums will increase three percent. And this is across the board. All the every plan, red, white, and blue going up 3%, employee portions going up 3%, uh, every every tier, if, whether you're an employee only, all the way up through family coverage, will all have 3%. There's no plan design changes, which is you know nothing to worry about there. And then on dental and vision, those, those plans, the premiums will be increasing 2% in 2021. Okay, so with, with that 3% increase, an employee, so this looking at the company pay amounts, if you're a single employee, the company will be paying $202 more in premiums for you 
in 2021. So in a, a single employee, the company will be providing $6,942 of your premium. At the family level, that 3% increase is worth $429. So the company will be covering $14,733 next year. And just a note uh, that our blue plan is obviously the, the, the most cost effective, the cheapest of the uh, of our premiums offered. The blue plan premiums will be $314 next year. And with a $202 premium increase paid for by the company, the, the company pay premium alone almost as, as much as an entire year of premiums for the employee. And then finally, with that 3% across the board increase, last year's 81% of premiums being paid by the company remains at 81% in 2021. So now I'm gonna, as we move on to uh, some details about our medical plan, I'm gonna hand it off to Joan Setonary, who has been our consultant and advisor on our plans for about the last seven years here. Um, you guys have seen a lot of great improvements over over the over these last seven years. Uh, much of it is thanks to Joan and her team. So I'm going to hand it off to Joan. Hello, all current employees. Um, thanks for having us back. Sorry that we are not in person, but I appreciate your time to go through the entire current benefits package for 2021. This slide is referencing the fact that Curran's group medical and prescription benefits are self-funded, which means it's not the big bad insurance company that is paying for all of these claims. It is the current group, which is why we are asking you to partner with us in making wise decisions when we utilize our health care. We're very excited um, to roll out 98.6 virtual primary care. Some of you have used Sherpa um, unfortunately, Sherpa was purchased by a larger corporation that has decided to change the care model, so we are not able to continue with them. Therefore, 98.6 is going to be our new virtual primary care partner. Virtual primary care is open 24-7, 365. You can access it no matter which state you are in. And a new benefit this year is that it goes down to cover kids all the way to the age of one. So as long as you and your family are enrolled in a current red, white, or blue medical plan, you can access 98.6 if you are one year of age or older, and it is free, no cost to you. This is a great way to access healthcare when you just have questions. Um, it doesn't need to be an acute illness. It can be just for questions. 98.6 uh, doctors are board certified, and they are employees of 98.6. This is their main job. They're not just moonlighting. They have a whole team of doctors so that they can quickly respond to you. When you download the 98.6 app, this slide is showing you what it will look like when you first interact with 98.6. There is a bot that will ask you some questions, just like the nurse does when you go to the doctor's office. They're going to ask some questions up front. You can text your responses and then you'll wait just a few minutes for the doctor to join the text and then you can continue the conversation in the 98.6 app. If you prefer to speak to the doctor, you can text the doctor that you prefer to switch to a phone call or to a video chat so that you do not need to continue texting if that's not your preferred method. You do have to access 98.6 through their app, which can be down, downloaded from the App Store or Google Play. You cannot access 98.6 from your computer. The setup is very quick and easy. It should take about 90 seconds, and there is a link in our benefits guide to a video to show you how to register with 98.6. So um, one other great point about 98.6 is that it is effective November 1st. You can start using 98.6 right away. November 1st, you do not need to wait until January 1st. Please give 98.6 a try. Even again, if you just have some questions, um, maybe you went to your own primary care physician and you forgot to ask a couple questions. 98.6 is a great benefit for you to take advantage of. I'm going to hand things over now to Deanne Planner. Hello, everyone. My name is Deanne O'Brien. I'm the benefits manager at Kern Group. 
And open enrollment is one of my favorite times of the year. I love going to see all the other companies and I will definitely miss seeing all your smiling faces. I'm going to talk a little bit about Edison Healthcare. Edison is our second opinion service and second opinions do really matter. As you can see, there are so many misdiagnosed um, um, diagnoses that you get. Um, we'd all like to think that when we go to our doctor and we receive a diagnosis that it's correct, but it's simply just not the case. Um, there are, all, are a lot of things that are misdiagnosed. And so Edison is a great option. They will give you a second opinion. It may involve uh, travel to one of their smart care centers or it can simply be a record review uh, by the doctors, say at Mayo Clinic. Um, they'll give that second opinion and going forward, you may even be able to have the surgery there if you choose. So say you're diagnosed with cancer. They may give you the same diagnosis. However, they may have a different treatment plan than what your current doctor has. If that's the case, then they'll go ahead and work with your doctor here or wherever you are to help with that treatment plan. And it simply is picking up the phone and calling Edison, starting the process to see if you qualify. So please, you know, if you're if you're talking to one of your coworkers who's maybe recently been diagnosed, remind them about Edison uh, Healthcare. I think it really gives people a uh, peace of mind to know that they do have the correct diagnosis. One reminder is transplants, spine, bariatric surgeries can only be covered through Edison Healthcare. So if you have been diagnosed with one of these and you call Blue Cross Blue Shield, they will tell you that this is not covered and you'll have to reach out to Edison Healthcare. And now I'm gonna pass it back to Joan. Thanks, Deanne. One, one final note about Edison. Not only is it great to get a second opinion to make sure that your diagnosis and your treatment plan are correct, but also Edison is no cost to you. Can't beat that. So I mentioned before that the current group is self-funded, which means we are all in this together about trying to save money and keep our premium increases down. It's really exciting this year that we have only a 3% increase. Um, so this slide is just to remind us about where we go to see care really does matter. We do have options and they all have different price tags associated with them. 98.6 is a great first step when you're gonna enter the healthcare system. Again, because it's no cost, it's um, easily accessible and um, highly trained, highly qualified doctors. They might then just direct you should you go to urgent care, should you go to the emergency room, they can help assess the situation and get you started. Obviously, we also mentioned Edison Healthcare is no cost. Retail health clinics you can find at CVS, Walgreens. Those are typically staffed by a nurse practitioner, so they're a little bit less costly. Your doctor's office, obviously primary care is, is a great place to go. Urgent care would be your next least costly option. And the emergency room. One last note about urgent care emergency room. We were talking before the presentation. The, the key is finding the urgent care and emergency room providers near you, near where you live or near where you work that are in network. Because when the emergency situation happens, we tend to get a bit panicked and that's probably not the right time to be searching for where you should go in network. Todd mentioned that we do not have any plan changes to discuss for any of the current group medical plans. So very, very exciting that the very comprehensive, awesome coverage you guys have through current groups medical plans are continuing into 2021. Just remember please that January 1st, your deductibles reset. So you start back over again and the out of pockets reset as well. White plan with HSA, same as the red and blue. Again, no plan changes. And this plan in particular, you, you have to pay very close attention to where you're at with your deductible in this plan. That resets January 1st as well. Here is the shot of the medical rates for 2021. Don't worry, don't panic. You don't need to write them down. They are all in the benefit guides that are being mailed to your homes. And the benefit guide is posted in the current group benefits portal as well. Todd pointed out earlier that the blue plan is the least expensive. Um, I think many people enrolled in the red PPO plan because it's what you're most comfortable with. It's most like the old plans that we used to have, the standard plan. Um, it's great that Curran provides choice, so everybody can pick the plan that they are most comfortable with. 
I just want to point out that many people enrolled in the red PPO plan do not end up paying their deductible, maybe just very little towards the deductible every year. If you are one of those people who ends up paying very little in deductible, maybe you just pay pharmacy co-pays or a couple doctor co-pays, you might want to consider the white plan or the blue plan. They are both lower cost options and you would be saving money out of your paycheck. All three of the medical plans, red, white, and blue, have free preventive services. Curran did this before healthcare reform and obviously continues to offer um, your once a year annual exam in network and cancer screenings as well. I know COVID has made it difficult to go see our doctors, but if you are able to get in for your annual exam, it is covered at no cost. And Deanne wants to make sure everybody knows how important their flu shots are, particularly this year. And those two are covered with no cost to you at any pharmacy in the CVS network. Turning over to prescription drugs, hopefully you received a letter in the mail from us this summer. We wanted to give you as much warning as possible about a change we are making if you take maintenance medications. Maintenance medications are prescriptions that you take every single month. A very good example is cholesterol medication or high blood pressure medication. Instead of being able to go to the retail pharmacy and fill that prescription 12 times a year, we are asking, well, actually, I guess now telling you that January, as of January 1st, we need you to fill that prescription in a 90 day fill. So you have an option there too. That 90 day fill can be through the mail, the CVS mail order program, or you can go to any retail CVS pharmacy to fill your 90 day prescription. So the great news is for you, that means you only have to fill your drug four times a year. You also will be saving a little bit of money because the co-pays that you see towards the bottom of the screen for mail order or CVS pharmacy are two and a half times the co-pays at the top, the retail co-pays. Now I do understand that that means you have to come up with more money up front. So we encourage you if you are on the red or blue plans to consider the flexible spending account that money is available to you January 1st, and that is pre-tax dollars to pay for these prescriptions. You'll also notice here that the 30% for specialty medications is in red because that too is a change for January 1st. Thankfully, this impacts very, very few of you. If you are someone taking a specialty medication, please expect to receive a letter in the mail from Prudent Rx. If you have any questions about that program, please call the number on the letter or get in touch with Deanne. The gist is that we need you to enroll in Prudent Rx so that your specialty medication can be free next year instead of paying 30%. Now onto the prescriptions with the white plan. This plan has no changes to specialty drugs. The copay is still $200. All the rest of the copays you see here are on the screen are the same as current. This plan though too has the requirement with maintenance medications to be filled in a 90 day fill. Now I hand it over to Dan. So if you are enrolled in the red or blue medical plan, you're eligible for a flexible spending account known as an FSA. And this allows you to use pre-tax dollars for qualified medical prescription, dental and vision expenses. The maximum contribution for next year is 2750. And so if you have any out of pocket medical costs, uh, maybe you're on a maintenance med or maybe you get contacts every year, you can put that money in your flexible spending account. It's available to you in full uh, the first day of the year, and then you pay it off via payroll deductions. It is a use it or lose it benefit, so make sure you don't put too much in. Um, those of you that have some money left uh, for 2020, keep in mind that now you can submit over-the-counter drugs. You do not need a prescription from your doctor, Save those Walmart or Walgreen receipts for that Advil or contact lens solution, and you can submit those um, and use that extra money that you have left this year. Uh, we have the auto pay process, which works really well. Um, Blue Cross Blue Shield communicates with PayFlex and the money is automatically taken out of your account, or we also offer a debit card. Please note that um, if you waive our medical plan, the auto pay process is not available. If you're enrolled in our white plan with HSA, you're eligible to open an HSA that lets you set aside pre-tax dollars to help pay for your expensive, similar to an FSA, but the big differences um, are that the HSA money, it's your own individual account. The money will always belong to you. There's no use it or lose it. 
Um, if you were to change jobs, you take that money with you and it stays with you to use. You can change the amount you contribute at any time during the year. And for 2021, the contribution limits for employee are 3,600 and for employee dependents, 7,200. This is only if you're enrolled in the white PPO plan. And now I'm going to hand it over to Liz to talk about dental and vision. I get the relatively easy job of talking to you about your dental and vision because there are not any plan changes on the dental plan. We're still with Delta Dental. The networks still work exactly the same. Um, there is a slight uh, plan increase this year of 2%. The biggest thing that I want to remind you is I know COVID is going on. Please still go get your two dental cleanings. You're paying for them. You should be doing this anyway, so don't let COVID dissuade you from going um, to get your two, two done. For the vision, again, no plan design changes. Um, we have added the Freedom Pass used to just be at Target. Now we're adding lens crafters also to, to the Freedom Pass. The only thing with that is you will need to take the flyer with you in order to get that benefit. Um, you also can use it details in your benefits guide a little bit more um, about some of the other services you can use. You can use Context Direct, for instance, um, to get more of the uh, vision you might need. Also, a slight plan increase of 2%. Now I'm going to hand it back to Deanne to talk about the Unum benefits. So for the Unum benefits, there's no changes for 2021. You will still receive that $50,000 of basic life. Open enrollment is a great time to check your beneficiary to make sure you still like them. Uh, supplemental life, uh, open enrollment is another good time to maybe reevaluate what you need and raise that amount. Um, up to $200,000 for an employee without health questions and up to $50,000 for a spouse without health questions. If you currently have the minimum. Yes, if you currently have that minimum of 10,000 for employee or 5,000 for spouse. If you don't currently have the supplemental life, you can still elect it. You will just have to answer health questions and UNUM will let you know if you're approved. Voluntary long-term disability. Um, we feel that it's a really important benefit right below your medical insurance. If something happens to you and you're not able to work and support your family, voluntary long-term disability will help with that. Um, if you don't have it, you can enroll during open enrollment, but once again, you will be subject to um, answer health questions and UNUM will either approve or reject your request. Accident insurance, we've had that and um, no change is really there other than the um, rates are changing a bit. So accident is very straightforward. It basically pays a set amount depending on what has happened to you. Um, whether you've gone to the ER or uh, broken a leg, it pays out a certain amount. There's no health questions you have to answer, so you can sign up for it during open enrollment for you and your family members, and it's a, a relatively inexpensive benefit. There's also a wellness benefit connected with it. So if you go get that physical or blood work or a flu shot, then you get that $50 wellness benefit. They send you a check. So that pretty much washes out a lot of the premium. So something to look into. Um, it's for children up to age 26 as well. We're also adding a new benefit for 21 and it's critical illness insurance, which is also offered through UNUM. This um, you can get in three different amounts. You can choose 10,000, 20,000 or $30,000. As an employee, when you sign up, you're children are automatically enrolled at half, 50% of what you enrolled. Your spouse also gets 50% of your amount if you choose to enroll your spouse. But once again, the child is automatically enrolled at 50% of your amount. This is um, based on age bands, um, so you can check the rate depending on what your age is. And there's also a $50 annual wellness benefit connected with this. So there is a video that you guys can watch in the open enrollment um, guide to get more information on this if you're interested. We also are changing our um, employee assistance program next year to UNUM. Um, it's very similar to support link. 
Uh, they can treat stress, anxiety, depression, um, help you with child and elderly care services, substance abuse. You just pick up the phone and you call them uh, 24 seven, 365 days a year. One additional benefit is besides your spouse and dependent children, you can also offer this benefit to your parents and parent-in-laws. Uh, they also offer three free in-person counseling sessions. And if you don't want to do that, check out their website and maybe watch a webinar or um, read an article. Um, it's very helpful. Oh, and now Todd would like to talk about his favorite benefit, pet insurance. So the, the long term employees at current group and all of our companies know that. Maybe the greatest benefit that we we have for working at our companies are the core values. Um, as somebody who gets to work alongside Mike, Tim, Kathy and Liz Curran almost every day. Um, I assure you that they are real. I, I, I get to see these core values come through at work on a, on a daily basis. And, you know, what is core value number one? It's family. So with pet insurance, our employees get to cover every single member of their family. So no, no change in the coverage from nationwide. Uh, it's a 10% employee discount. This would be paid directly by, by the employee to nationwide. This cannot work through payroll deduction. The retirement plan, no, no change there. So uh, just to re this is really just a reminder. If you're not putting away 4% of your own money in, into the 401k plan, you're missing out on an immediate 50% return on that investment. So the, your 4% contribution gets you the the 2% the match from the company. And you know the, the example down below shows, shows you a very real example of one of our blue collar millionaires. So you know somebody who makes an average of $50,000, contributes 5% of their own money, get, gets a 2% annual match and a 3% uh, profit sharing contribution over, you know, by the time uh, it's, it's around year, Year 39, year 40, this this employee passed a million dollars in savings. Uh, again, a, re a reminder that something that was new last year, the we now offer both the traditional and the Roth 401k. Um, that can that can be selected through through One America, the record keeper. We always like to remind you that all of our vendors have mobile apps. Uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield is a great app to have. You can pull up your ID card. You can find a provider. You can look at your EOBs. I definitely recommend that one. Also, as Joan mentioned earlier, 98.6, you will need to download that app um, to access their service. Um, B-Swift is another great one. You can actually enroll for your benefits um, and do your open enrollment. So I'm just going to wrap it up by talking about some important reminders for open enrollment. It starts on November 4th. You log into B-Swift. Um, you must complete your enrollment by November 18th. Keep in mind that we've always uh, changed the uh, password to the last four digits of your social security number. This year, if you take no action, your current elections will continue with the exception of your FSA or HSA. You must make an annual election to have these benefits. Also, if you'd like that critical illness, you'll have to log on and enroll for that as well, since it's a new plan. After completing your enrollment, make sure you print and save your confirmation statement. Make sure you've correct or selected the correct plans and you've included all the dependents that you want to cover. Um, because if something happens later, we can go back and look at that confirmation statement for what you actually enrolled in. As I said, it's from November 4th to the 18th. Watch for your Kern Group benefit guide to come. It will be delivered to your home. If for some reason you don't get it, reach out to um, your HR staff and they can um, mail you one or send you an electronic version. We will also have Spanish benefit guide and letters available that your HR department can send to you. And I just want to remind you, even though everything's 
seems to be virtual right now. We're all still here to help you. Your HR staff, uh, reach out to them. Uh, you can reach out to me. I'm at the Crystal Lake office. I'm always happy to help um, people with open enrollment. If you're having troubles, have your spouse give me a call. Um, I'm here to help. We're all here to help get through this and make this a successful open enrollment. We also do have a video that will, will be available to view on BSwift that has a recap of all the benefits and everything that we have talked about today. Also, your benefit guide is a great resource. It has all the pricing and it has several QR codes where you can watch videos on all the benefits we offer. So I think you'll be set to enroll. I think you'll have all the information you need. So thank you for watching this video today and I hope you're all uh, staying safe and staying well.